Hello and welcome to a new video of my Unity MMO tutorial series and yeah in this lecture we will um, do some changes uh, because in the yeah in the past I created a race selection but we will change Yeah, um, why we will change um, the race stuff is because um, we will work with Yuma and Yuma uses um, races as human or other stuff and um, I wanted to create with a race that we have um, realms or fractions and um, like in World of Warcraft Alliance or Horde or yeah, in other games like Dark Age of Camelot, it was uh, Bernia and so on. And um, today um, we will start with a, um, the Yuki net with the package um, types. I will change this to um, realm, not race. Um, so everyone knows about that we use realms and not races and then you can you get um, errors and we will fix it in a race um, package and I will rename the race package into realm package and need to change the communication types and this will be um sorry press uh, response okay um to real response same with a response and here it is not race id real id And the realms will not the uh, server realms, um, no, um, because um, this will only for our game, not for server stuff. And I changed well, and check me to do it well. After race ID and yeah, okay, we have to build it. And after this, we have to go to server connection handler and the main server. Of course, you can uh, ROS as well. And here's the race request, and we um, change it to real request. And here the race ID needs to be realm ID. And now there are no errors here. And we can build the server as well. Now we have to go open the folder from Yukinet. And Yeah, we have to go to the folder, copy our Yuki DLL, and go to our assets folder from our Unity pack Unity, and copy the Yuki Net DLL in it. And as you can see, if we go to refresh, yeah, there will no errors, but in the if we open ah we don't have um implemented yet. of course we have and yeah and then we have some stuff i w we will um sort it later a little bit but for for a first test i will create 
new function in our client manager and this will be um, public void race one uh, because um, you can do it if you click on on an image or something else um, you can um, you can call this function so I will yeah we will create this like this and yeah yet now we need to um, get the package parser and parse package um, not from the, uh, to stream and Oh, there's an error in the package parser. And we say new realm. Ah, okay. Uh, we have to change something here because we didn't change the request packages. We need to change. From race to here, and yeah, if if you don't want to change, you can um can leave it like you you have, and um yeah. Now we go to the server connection handler, and we need to change the namespaces here as well from race to here. Okay, I think that's all. Yeah, this is from the client manager. Now we have to build again. Go to our folder from our Yukinet bin debug net standard 2.0. Copy the Yukinet DLL to the asset folder of Unity folder and now we can go back to client manager and say new realm request pa package. Okay. And then we can start. Okay. And w what um, we want to do is we want to ah sorry I will change this with underscore realm ID three um ID. And yeah, because we um if the if you click on the uh, button, get the uh, ID one you have put here, and we will write it. Because it's um very um simple um thing to show you how how the stuff works with uh, With um, with our um, package parser and dispatch, so now for package data pass um package parser pass from stream and. It will be the client connection reader. And yeah, now we can say log dollar sign. We want to add some um, three type brackets. And say package data dot 
get type. And the result will be curly brackets and we say now package data as realm response package and and now we have to say realm id so it will display the realm id in Okay, now uh, we can um, put the real realm ID text field, and we put the same thing in it. Say realm ID, but we will cast it. We will cast it as a string. Okay, I copied the text and we forgot to add public static string. And we have to say get set. So there are no errors. And after this, uh, ask. Yeah, we can the function um, we can add later um, a little bit more useful and we say uh, char x list and uh, we set this um, to true and then we can say what t is equals to get component in children and we get the menu manager and set it to true and then we can say if char exists, so oh, um, if it's true, um, then we can um, um, get the character selection menu. But uh, in this case, we um, need to go to the. Um, I we can um, if a char exists, um, we uh, can go to the char selection menu. And if not, we go to the character creation menu. And so we have no character, we need to create a... Yeah, we need to... to some stuff to ask if... Okay, yeah, that's... We have now here. And yeah, we have to go to our... We have to go to our uh, city and fresh because we don't have these errors again. I don't know why they would ah, see. Take a little bit. Ah, and there are no errors. Okay, now we g have to go to the scene and we have to create a new scene. And yeah, we will call it race. Uh, um, file new scene and we will save it as our scenes folder as realm selection and yeah now we need to create a new UI field it's canvas and we this is right, and we scale with the screen size, and I add a panel, UI panel, and the background will be black, and the alpha will don't have an alpha, so now it's black, 
and now we can add some text so that we can see there is a UI text and we will see stretches more I don't want stretch I want then tie it up okay uh, I need to delete sorry and I need to add it in the panel UI text and at first I will change the color to white and we this one best fit and we say realm selection and I will go to the in view and I will drag it top of the thing and now we need to add the button and in this case um, we don't uh, need much uh, button but I will create this one and call it race one and yeah that's enough and yeah now we have to go to our prefabs folder and as you can see there is a client manager prefab and now we add uh, on click um, stuff and we will add the client manager here and go to the client manager and select the race one and every um and when you click on race one the race one function in the client manager will call but yeah i will stop this video here now and we create the next the next lecture thank you for watching and yeah if you like my stuff you can leave a like or um write down uh, in the comments and if you have problems you can join my discord server